Hi, I'm Andrew Skirka with Sierra Designs. I'm really excited to talk to you today about the High Root Tent. In designing it, I essentially wanted a, a single shelter that I could use on all of my solo backpacking trips. The High Root Tent excels in challenging three season conditions. So when it's really rainy, windy, buggy, hot and humid, wet, and it can also withstand moderate winter weather. At two and a quarter to two and a half pounds, depending on how you have it configured, the High Root Tent is acceptably light for mild conditions as well especially for individuals who want or need extra room to spread out. The High Root is a double wall tent, which means that it's going to handle moisture and condensation much better than a single wall. It also means that the components can be used independently. So for instance, on a hot and dry summer night, you can sleep just inside the inner tent body. And then the fly you can use with a ground sheet or with a bivy sack if conditions don't warrant a full inner tent body. You can also use it in the winter time as a roof over a snow pit. The High Root has a very storm resistant design. Assuming both doors are closed, you have full side of protection. You have a very taut ridge line due to this predetermined catenary curve. All of the side panels are either steeply sloping or completely vertical. The, both side doors are reinforced by trekking poles, which is located right here. And if you're in really stormy weather, you have one extra tie out on the roof in order to give this some extra tension. The High Root is an extremely roomy one person shelter. Let's start by talking about the fly. It's four feet wide, it's nine feet long, it's four feet tall. So you have 36 square feet of space. That's comparable to most two person double wall ultralight tents. And it's way bigger than any one person tent. 36 square feet of space, at that point you don't need vestibules. Uh, it's big enough for you and a lot of gear or you and a dog or two people if you're not using the inner tent body. Not only do you have 36 square feet of space and four feet of, four feet of room, but it's also a really usable space. Because of the way the poles are positioned here and then it's offset on the other side over here, they don't intersect the sleeping area and they, um, and they also don't block the entranceways. And then because the walls are either vertical or steeply angled, you don't lose a lot of perimeter space like you would with a shelter that has lower angle sidewalls. The high root tent is well ventilated. If it's not rainy and if it's not windy, I'd encourage you to leave the side doors open like this one here. And you can see I've also opened up the other side as well while you weren't looking. That will allow a nice cross breeze through the shelter. If it is raining, but you still want ventilation and if the wind isn't too strong, these side doors are designed to be porched. And we included a stake for you to do this. And this will give you a little bit of extra room for stuff if you want, but more importantly, it'll just um, allow nice airflow still through this area. You get a little bit of additional coverage to this five inch awning. If, if, it, if the wind is a little bit stronger and you don't want the thing fully open, you can use the side release buckle in order to take tension off the zipper. And again, stake this out. And finally, if it's really windy and you need just to button this thing up, you can go ahead and do that, but you won't lose your ventilation entirely. You'll have ventilation through the five inch awning vent. There's some bug mesh up here. You'll still have ventilation along the perimeter. And when you pitch it, you can actually pitch the shelter to be a little higher off the ground to have more ventilation. And then we also included a double zipper here. And just by having the zipper open like this, you'll get quite a bit of airflow in windy conditions through the shelter. Final thing I wanna show you is the inner tent body. The inner tent body is two and a half feet wide. It's seven and a half feet long. So there's plenty of space in here for a full size sleeping pad, including the wider 25 inch pads. And you still have a little bit of elbow room. It has a bathtub floor in the case that your campsite has rain soaked ground. And there will always be at least one and a half feet inside the, or underneath the fly, but outside the interior tent body for uh, cooking dinner or making some coffee or just to store wet gear. So that about does it for the tech specs and features of the High Root Tent. Personally, just to close, I'll say that I'm excited that the High Root Tent is finally available and I can't wait to take it into the backcountry.